Hey guys, Bing here. And today I'm going to talk about uh, project parameter, share parameter, and global parameter. So first, let's create a project. Okay, so go to manage and click on the project parameter. So project parameters, uh, let's, let's have a look over here. So just project parameter can be added to uh, categories of elements in the project and used in uh, schedules. So let's add a new project parameter. Okay, so project parameter 01 and choose the uh, type of parameter and then I'm going to add it to doors and uh, windows category and OK. So now if I draw a wall, some doors some windows and you will say that's a project parameter here and also the same if I click on a window that's the project parameters on the window uh, category <clears throat> and also you can go to schedule and add that parameter into the schedule same window schedule edit just add that project parameter Okay, so that's that's about the project parameter. So now let's have a look at the share parameter. So share parameter can be used in multiple families and projects. Okay, so um, one so just click on the share parameter. So if you haven't done this before, so you will need to create a, a txt file and save it on your hard drive or on your server, and then and you will be able to create all these groups, different groups, and under each group you can create different uh, parameters. Okay, so and then you can still use them for project parameter. So so you can add project parameter and then instead of just create project parameter, you can use share parameter and pick all those parameters. So you can just keep the consistency of the param of parameters throughout all different projects okay so another way another way <coughs> another um, good thing about the pro share parameter is you can use it in different uh, families so for example if I um, I'll just create a new a family a very simple generic model okay so and uh, I'll quickly draw some reference plans and dimension it. And I'll just going to create a, a family parameter for now. Okay, so, so I'll show you the difference. Okay, so instance, I'll just name it F with okay and then I'll just create a I'll just do some model line for this one and lock it so now if I load this into the project so you will see that's a box here and then um, you can uh, I will you can change the size right and this is name a family four I'm going to just edit family and save as save as a copy so I'll have two family but I won't change anything here I just load this back into the project so now I have family 4 and family 4 copy so here I'm going to show you the difference so first one is if I go to view if I create a new schedule generic model schedule and OK so there's no way I can find that F with because that's a, f a family parameter okay so so what I need to do is uh, before before I edit this family I'm going to show you another another mm, another thing <laughs> okay so see here I changed I changed this from the default setting of uh, maybe 600 to this big and then if I want to, to ch if I change this family 4 to family 4 copy so you will see 
I will lost this setting. So let me go back. So this is family four. This is family co full copy. And if I change this to family full copy, I will lost the setting of this with the same. If I if I change this back to family four, so see it won't it will stay as a default set default setting same this one if i drag this if i change this size and i'm happy with this but i want to change to this style and i change this from to family four i will lost it okay so this is the thing i find um yeah probably why i prefer a uh, share parameter so edit so edit family and go to family type so click on this uh, family parameter so go here so instead of family parameter, let's just change that to share parameter. So select. So here I have a share with. So you can create, you can just create one if you want to. So under group one, I'll, I'll just create a new one. Okay, so share, shared with, shared with two. Okay. And then OK and OK and click on that and OK and OK. So now and OK load back into the project. So now this click on this one you will see it's a share with two, right? So and this one. Oh sorry, this is also family four. Uh, let me change that to family four copy. So that's a family with. I'll just go edit family and go family type. Click on this one, edit, and then share parameter, select with share with two. OK, OK, OK. Low back to project, OK, and uh, overwrite. So now, this, so once family four, so for example, if I change the size, and and then if I change that to family four copy, so you will see the size stay the same. Let's do it again. So this is family four copy and if i change the size change that to family four so stay stay the same size okay so another thing is i if i create a new generic mo or model schedule where is it here generic model okay and then so you will find this you will find this with so you can add that into the schedule okay so i'll Go back to sorry, where is it? Where's my box? Where's my family? Here, yeah. And uh, I'll close this one. What's this one? Should we do? Okay, well, this one and the schedule. Is that schedule? No. Where's my schedule? Here. Okay, so I'm going to WT. So you, so you can. Yep. So you will see you can just change them in the schedule if you want to do want to. So yep, so that's that's about the share parameter. Okay, so uh, let me have a look. Let's go to so now the global parameter. Okay, so um I'll do some before that I'm just going to do some walls, okay? and i'll place some door here so for example i have some door here here and here and then you can add some add some dimension so for example that uh, the, all the dimension from the wall to the door hinge okay and then you can select this dimension and create a global parameter so i'll just call it g g p okay <laughs> okay and then so you'll see it's all the same and then you can go here manage global parameter and then you can change the size here and also you can do things like um, you can you can if you have a different uh, like families maybe have a text dex sorry dex dex desk <laughs> you have some desk here and they can be different they can be different type 
or even you can also play some other thing it don't need to be the same type same category even so um, and then you can edit type and then you can assign this to a global parameter which means they will have the same material so for example this one top top material I'll, I'll create a global material global, global material parameter and okay and okay and okay so now you can have another de des desk or a chair or, or whatever you like and but and you can assign them to the same materials here and then every time you, you want to change them you just change it here that's global parameter okay so that's it for today um, uh, yeah it's a bit confusing I yet yeah, uh, if, if you have any questions let me know um, okay I'll see you next time thank you bye